welcome back to my channel. I don't think you're ready to see this, but I'm going to show you anyway. This is the current state of my oven. We got this oven a few years ago, and I will tell you the truth, it has never been cleaned on the inside. I know that's probably shameful, but I'm going to fix that today, and you guys are going to help me, and I'm going to do it with just a few ingredients naturally and mostly things that you can get at the Dollar Tree. So if you want to clean my oven with me and get rid of all this gunk, then stay tuned. So whether or not your oven actually has a self-cleaning option is irrelevant. I mean, mine does, but I didn't want to use it. I wanted to use something more natural, and so I'm just using baking soda and water. When I first started out mixing this, I tried to do it by proportions of what I found online, but basically towards the end, I ended up just putting a little bit of water and a little bit of baking soda until it made a paste. So I ended up having to use two small boxes of baking soda on my oven. So depending on how bad yours is, you may need more, you may need less, but all you need is baking soda and water and some vinegar. Now this little spatula that I'm using is just one that I have you know, to cook with. But I think it makes it easier to kind of get into all the little grooves and underneath and around things that are going to be in your oven. So I'm using that pretty much ice my oven like you would a cake, a big greasy metal cake. Um, so there's quite a lot of stains as you can see. There's a lot of grease because if I make bacon, I do make it in the oven instead of frying it. So of course that's popped all over the place and it was just a big mess. So I'm using that spatula to spread the baking soda and water paste all around and then I'm going to let it sit overnight. I ended up letting it sit for about uh, 15 hours or so. Um, you could do less, you could do more if you felt like you needed to, but um, that's just the time that I let it sit. And so I made sure that morning to make something in the crock pot. That way I did not have to use my oven for at least two days.
all the baking soda out. I used vinegar on a rag to give a final wipe down of the oven, make sure all the baking soda residue was gone. This is what it looks like when it's all done. So all you need is baking soda, water, the some type of abrasive sponge, maybe a cleaning toothbrush, um, some paper towels, and some vinegar. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful. It's a huge difference and I think next time I won't wait so long to clean my oven and let it get as bad as it was, but I know that no matter when I clean it, this is going to be a really natural, safe, effective way to clean my oven, and I hope it was helpful for you guys. Make sure if it was, you give the video a thumbs up, share it with anybody you may think needs to see it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!